<laughs> Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Guitar Arsenal, playing around a little bit there in the intro. Hopefully you enjoyed those sounds. We're getting out of this wonderful Jerry Jones SC3. Okay, I'm saying SC3 is in single cut, three pickup, similar to the uh, model designations of the earlier uh, Dan Electros. Jerry is now retired, unfortunately, but I hope he's happy in retirement. He made some great instruments. Um, he was producing these things back in the 90s, and really, they are a complete culmination of what they were trying to do with the early Dan Electros. The construction of these guitars is absolutely spectacular. Uh, they don't use quite as light and cheap of materials as the early guitars do, so these are much more structurally sound. Uh, they've got great truss rods in them good tuners, excellent electronics, solid, solid construction, bolt-on neck construction. So the overall aesthetic and construction is very similar to the originals, but Jerry used a lot better materials. And the finishes on these are looking really nice, you know, holding up really great over time. Uh, man, just a great guitar. I'll say not as light and resonant as the original Dan Electros are in terms of the weight. It's a little bit heavier duty of an instrument, so it's kind of you know, a little bit beefier of a guitar. But man, what a great guitar. It can get some wonderful sounds. We're gonna go through and just listen to some uh, sounds on all the pickup settings. We do have a five-way switch in this guitar. These were produced in a variety of different configurations uh, by Jerry. And uh, well, you can't see, I've got my tuner on here, but the Jerry Jones logo usually gets worn off pretty easily. It's almost like a little tattoo he puts on there. So over time, those do wear off. Uh, mine is, you know, holding up okay, but these are, these are really great guitars, you know. Um, I think that they offer a great value for someone who is looking for a style of guitar like this that they can actually take out and play on a regular basis. You don't have to worry about temperature fluctuations as much. You know, the other guitars have, you know, a, a metal rod in the neck or like a pair of metal rods, and that's pretty much it. So they have a steel reinforced neck but no real truss rod. Uh, the Jerry Jones models have an adjustable heel truss rod, which is really great. Uh, tone and volume control, the same wood compensated saddle, so you just got a little tuft of wood pushed up in there. Very similar bridge design. Lipstick pickups, let's give them a listen, okay? Uh, I'm gonna disengage, I had a little slap back of, uh, of delay. I've got just a little bit of reverb, and this is going right into a 1968 Fender Super Reverb, so let's give it a listen. Very warm and airy, punchy, and articulate. Um, a little sedate. Uh, if you engage something like a boost or maybe a germanium boost like I had going in the intro, it can liven those pickups up a little bit. I do have the Super on 5, so they are very low wound pickups, not very hot, but they're great for that jangly kind of thing that you're hearing there. Alright, here's the in-between setting, middle and neck, alright.
You know, it gets that sort of jangly, wiry, spaghetti western kind of thing going on, that sort of... Very wiry sounding. It really livens up when we hit it with a boost. You'll hear that in a second, all right? Uh, bridge and middle pick up, all right? Bridge. All right, the Tula, this is a uh, fixed germanium boost. Go back to the neck pickup, play a few lines, hear it with a little bit of edge there, kind of pushing these pickups a little bit in the front end of the amp. Let's give this a listen. Oh yeah, definitely hits it really good there. Sound a knife. Very loud and punchy and throaty uh, on the uh, neck and middle pickup. Doesn't really start to get super articulate till you get into the in-between sound between the bridge and the neck and the bridge. But very jangly, uh, very characteristic sound. Very interesting, okay? Here's the uh, middle pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> so, going through a drive pedal and playing around with the pickups and playing with those tone controls, it's a very responsive instrument. You notice I was kind of laying back, hammering on, laying back, hammering on. Made a few flubs in there, I apologize for that. But it's such an inspirational guitar, you know, especially getting into those jangly sounds in the bridge. It can get some really killer sounds. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing this guitar as much as I enjoyed playing it for you. Have a great day. I'm going to make a little bit more racket on the way out. Um, what a great guitar that responds really great to a nice boost, really pushing those pickups and getting some, you know, good response out of the guitar into the front end of the amp. And man, that was a JHS Morning Glory that I hit on there and added in. Uh, let's hit it with the Zen Drive as well, and I'll leave the Tula on. I've got just a little bit of reverb. I'll tell you what, let's get a slap back of delay, and I'm going to dial out a good bit of the tone on the bridge pickup. Guys, we post every Monday and Friday here on Guitar Arsenal with nothing don't happen. Appreciate it. <laughs> Have a great day. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, Scoob, are you ready, boy? <laughs> this is getting there. All right. <laughs> Thank you.